Hello everyone, I want to explain to you how to configure the network client mode, I mean the Exicam Air uh, Virtual Production or RX1 connection in three Sony camera models, which are the FX9, Z280 and Z90. It, uh, it will consist of two stages or steps. The first one is going to be to connect the, the cameras to the internet. In this case, I'm going to use an access point, which is the one I have here, so I will be connected via Wi-Fi. In the case of uh, Z280, I can do it also via one or even two uh, USB dongles, typically 3G or 4G, connected to the camera body, or even through an Ethernet port. In the case of uh, FX9, I can do the same, but for a USB connection or a Ethernet connection, I will need the XDCA FX9 module in the rear side of the camera. For the Z90, I can connect via a Wi-Fi, obviously, and also via cable, but for that connection, I will need an USB to, uh, sorry, micro USB to USB uh, converter, and then the CBK-NA1, which is the converter from USB to RJ45 from Sony. So, firstly, I'm going to do the connection in an FX9, which is what, uh, what you can see in, in these menus. I need to go into the network menu, and then I can select either a station mode or access point mode. Access point mode uh, generates a Wi-Fi to which I connect some other device to be talking to the camera, but it has no connection to the Internet. For connecting to the Internet, I need to be in another Wi-Fi network, so I need to configure the camera into a station mode and then I will take a look under the station mode settings menu to which uh, networks I have around the camera. I will select which one uh, to connect, in this case you can see that I have, been, I have already connected to the Huawei network and then that, that first step is arranged. The next one is what to do with that connection and that is, the, in this case, the network client mode. For the network client mode, I can select up to three different profiles. Those profiles, obviously, will have been inputted before the, uh, the operation on field. So that, this is something that, as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't recommend the operator to do on field, unless there is some emergency. So, as you can see, you, have, you can select up to three profiles, in this case, Exit Camera, which is the one I'm going to, to revise with you, Virtual Production, and another one which is empty. Where to input or edit them in these three profiles? So here you can see that I have uh, named it uh, Exit Camera, obviously, it's, uh, it, it makes sense. This is the service or the website to connect to. This, uh, this parameter, also the port, the a username and the password are common in all the configurations. So those are the basic four parameters that, that you will need to input. Remember the service or the or the website to connect to, the port 8443, a username and password. Username and password are going to be provided to you by the XD camera uh, manager. Also in this case we have the chance to enable the camera control. So through XD camera the operator can zoom in, zoom out, or, or do things like that. And I can also apply some camera settings, for, for instance, from a camera that, uh, from which I like the configuration, I can apply it to another one. Let's think about some elections or some multi-camera uh, shooting, in that case, that can be done remotely without the intervention of the camera operator. So that is the way to, to do that. I, I can set it, okay? set and as of now as you can see it is still off take a look on the upper side of the lcd the moment that i jump from off to on you will see that uh, together with the wi-fi the typical icon with the arrows you will see a uh, very dark gray and C ncm letters that will uh, switch into white when the camera is connected so now you can see they are white. So at this moment, I have the camera connected to XD camera. Now let's jump into set 280, and you will see that it's, it is basically the same. I jump into the network menu. I select the station mode, as you can see. Uh, in the station mode, 
I am already connected or I would connect to the to the to the network and then in the network client mode I will I would select up to three profiles, one out of three profiles, and here's where I would input the that profile. This is the again the service, port, username, password, and if I want the camera to be remotely operated and uh, even configured. So it's okay, set, but it is uh, still in off status. Also, take a look because here maybe you don't see it from, from that uh, camera, it is in orange status. There is a dedicated button here that uh, it is very easily uh, achievable because it has a little uh, physical ring around it. So the moment I select from off to on, you will see that two things happen. First one, now that LED is uh, in blue color and second one in the upper, in this case right side of the LCD, you will see the NCM letters again. They are grayed out at this moment because it is not yet, yet. now it is connected. You can see them in white color. So now both cameras are connected to the to the XD camera platform. And now let's do it with the third camera, the Z90. Uh, you may remember that I can connect via two ways. I can connect via uh, Wi-Fi or via uh, Ethernet through the adapters that I have told you in the beginning of the of the video. So I would connect to the network, to the Wi-Fi network, through this menu. So that is something that I have already done, so I don't need to, to do it again because I have the same access point. So now the camera is connected and then the network client mode, which is this menu that you can see here, instead of having three profiles from which I select just one of them, now I have only one profile. Where to input that profile? Here. And maybe you are familiar with these parameters. These parameters are the, the same as, as I was told before, txcp one xcamera.com port 8443, my username and my password. So that is okay. And then I would execute. Again, the camera asks me how to connect via wired uh, Ethernet uh, connection or via Wi-Fi. I'm going to select the, the Wi-Fi option. And now the camera is talking to the system, is handshaking in order to, to log into the system. It is preparing all the, the typical initializing protocols. And the camera at, the, at uh, some moment will show me the menu that it is connected. Now you can see that uh, through the network client mode, I am connected to the to the platform. So as easy as that. However, uh, let me insist, I wouldn't recommend the camera operator to do this on field. This is something that is pre-configured in the camera, as you have seen. I have done already that in, in those three cameras before shooting this video. So if you are a camera operator, this is the only thing you need to do. Select the profile and apply that profile. Done. Even in the set 20, as, as I have told you, you have a direct button to do it. And every time you, sh you shut down the, the camera, in, in case of FX9 and set 20, as far as I remember, when you uh, switch them on again, they will automatically connect if you have left the, the network client mode to on. So this is basically what I wanted to, to explain to you. I hope this is helpful and especially if you are a camera operator that you feel a, more, a bit uh, less stressed about how to work in a, in a network with this kind of cameras and, and just uh, operate the camera because that is what you are best in. So thank you very much again for watching these videos. I hope this was useful and see you in the, in the next, next one. Thanks.